every time this music starts i really love this music <laughs> hello it's me it's t you know the one and only hot doody mess of assimilation queen uh <laughs> today we've got another episode of uh, project hospital and we're going to do some um what are we gonna do uh we were going to open up internal medicine that's what we were gonna do and we're gonna try and see if we can get that down real quick um i'm trying to go for a really short episode this time trying to get under 45 to maybe 30 minutes it's it's hard though because when i'm in twitch i go on for eight hours if i do you know and and i just chill and you know really breathe this this game out so it's really hard for me to just turn off but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it going um we're gonna keep it running and we're gonna go to internal medicine i remember i had the others uh, going up we got all of that going seeing how that runs and this i know for a fact is internal medicine i can tell i can actually tell yeah there we go <laughs> um and it's kind of similar to what we had from um general medicine uh this here is that is an important room as well if i recall it's the diagnostic unit and that's kind of similar to what we have in general surgery uh for no that's special procedures my bad but it's it's important it's um it's kind of like the diagnostic unit downstairs but it's like almost like a surgery like they they have it's almost like a surgery space they do have surgery here um that looks like the trauma room um but it it is very important now I can see here that we don't have equal but I feel like we can probably get away with it maybe possibly Oof, I don't know um hmm still too many still too many that staff room is small but i'm i'm happy i'm actually happy with that diagnostics is a beautiful size really great um and what is that one is that cardi i think that's cardiography uh what, what is that unit ah what is that unit yeah, it was Cardi. We could get away with one. We might need two. We might turn this into special units depending on um, how busy it gets and then move the doctors over to this side. But we do need. I don't think we need that many nurses, to be fair. Two here, two here. We can we can get away with it <clears throat> but we do have need to have doctors okay but wait this is not for the area it's only two actually i take it back this is imd okay we don't really need that many all right let's go let's get into it okay 86 89 let's do that he's got dirty feet i can't do dirty feet i really can't so kate thomas we're gonna go with that um let's just double check yeah we're gonna go with kate thomas although the advanced diagnosis is probably a really good idea um it helps <clears throat> with things like uh lupus and stuff but I'm going to go with the highest in um, internal medicine that we can possibly go with for now. Um, ooh, that's, that's not bad. He's got 20% um, practical diagnosis and he's loyal. 
Um, he's not great, but we can definitely build him up. Um, and night time, we want somebody very strong. Uh, let's do that here, please. Don't know why that was that did like that. He's got dirty feet, and it's just not worth. They are always late. I don't like any of them. So let's find a new candidate. And we're just wasting money at this point. But hey. Oh, okay. Look, 43. Mm. Ooh. Comforting and has resistance. Okay, Rachel Young. There we go. So she... I'm going to move you over here so you get the bigger room. And... He's always late. I think I'm going to go with that. Oh, wow. Comforting, resistance. When he does turn up, he's got 88%. And she has 86 So we could still go with... I'm going to go with this. Mm, she's a night owl. Rested must faster and she's loyal. That general medicine is really low though. I'm gonna do it. Alright, let's do that. Oof. Bad call, but yikes. And all they're gonna do is diagnostics, and that's fine. We'll just get them certified and all of that jazz. Um and so that clinic is those clinics are, are automatically open now we have to go for oh no uh now we have to go for on call doctors those are the ones that, go, that will be doing the specialist um the the specialist uh procedures and also the two diagnostics and they will be also doing the wards so remember we've got these guys they're only going to be in this room and then the ones that we're looking for now are those that apply procedures to the wards so we need to have at least two minimum for wards three four five five we need to have at least five doctors on shift depending right um and let's just double check yeah we don't need any it says we need one at night and one at night but i've seen where people have been waiting especially if it's really busy um i've seen where they've been waiting for a long period of time and that's all right actually you're pleasant good boss fast learner let's go have a hire you then that's that um and they've they've been waiting and things like that and they've un oh, we're gonna annoy yeah we're gonna have you okay and literally the queues are just out of this world um and it's not great you don't want that right um, you're alcoholic I can't hire you just out of principle my dove um I have hired alcoholics in the past um and sometimes it pays off you can actually put them into if you have like a, a training room you can actually get them cured uh, but in the meantime i'm gonna i'm actually gonna do that i'm gonna pick a lady that isn't going to be late or somebody that will not be late uh that is just as strong okay so these are going to be more ward people yeah they're going to be on the ward and uh, yeah they're going to be on the ward and we'll see from there if i need to have more than two doctors so one on each uh, ward area i think i need four to be honest um mm. Mm. and they're not going to be doing that right but i'm just i'm just in my head counting how many i need for the ward so to speak you've got clean fleet and you're a good boss and you've got 60 percent. not bad not bad okay 
Um, so we're going to hire three more people. And I think we should be good. Five people total. Oh, you're a hard worker. That's fine. Um, so that's four on the shift. So four on shift. So if it gets busy, there'll be one person on wards. Do you want people to be on wards? If these three rooms are uh, occupied, if I hire only three doctors, that shift and they all in here, who's going to take care of any emergencies? That's the issue. And that's what you have to bear in mind when you're making this. How many how many positions do I need to to fill? And if it all goes tits up, how how I'm gonna make sure? And and sometimes you'd be like, well, I just don't have the money for this, and that's understandable. Um, just be very aware of that, so you know if the thing if you if you've got a bad like a crazy event in in that in this area, then you should you should pay attention. Um, and say actually I need to pay attention to this because I know I don't have XYZ um, I'm gonna have that yep I like that you're a good learner um, critical thinking okay yep I'm uh, gonna do that and then one more nighttime shifts are pretty dead in IMD though internal medicine but every once in a while if I because I do a lot of events to get my money and that's where and that's why I'm I'm preparing for a rush because I know that's what's gonna happen so the lateness and the tidiness I don't like I really don't and I don't like the fact that they've got dirty feet and I don't know what all of this is and I really don't want to spend that money um okay Oh, perfect. Oh, I feel like I just want to um, hire him just because. <laughs> just because. Can I uh, hire him just because he actually looks really good? Oh, and she's good as well. Jesus. All right. It's almost like you should know. You Like, hello? <laughs> she's great. Okay, so we've got good senior staff. I think we're more than enough. We're more than enough situated. Two for here, two there. We've got six total. We're we're booming, right? We're we're great. I need efficiency. I want you. Um sixty one. She can also be my gift and uh, I don't need them to clean too much. I don't feel that I need three. Um their efficiency is hot doo doo trash. Um and if they're alcoholic, it actually doesn't really matter. Uh, what really matters for me is how efficient they are and the dexterity, how fast they can go. But it looks like a hot mess right now. <laughs> it's pointless. Uh, I just need one more. I'm going to hire her. The night shift is going to be a hot mess. But we haven't got anybody that has dirty feet. And IMD typically don't bleed out. So we might be alright. Okay. Receptionist. I look. Oof, okay. Let me just see something here. Yeah. Luckily. I'm not going to hire you. And everybody's late. That's not good. Uh, I can't have late people. I can't, I really can't. Um, and you'd be like, but you're spending money on a receptionist. Yes, I am. Like I said before in the other one, a good receptionist is needed. It's absolute must. If you have a bad receptionist, you're less likely to get someone um, uh, diagnosed. Sometimes they'll, they'll literally diagnose you the minute they go in, boom, they can tell you exactly what you got. Um, so it's really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance on James Jackson. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance on you. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Just realised. Um, I know when I hire the nurses, someone will come up. See, look, see, there's always somebody. 
And I'm not gonna... We want someone with high specialist care. A lot of people are going to be in the wards. Um, so this is where that one is important. Um, oh. You're going to be my night owl runner. That's what you're going to be. Okay, so we're going to put you to run. And we're going to take out your patient care. She's just going to be transferring. And we're going to do that as well. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're also my own, but you're 217 to do absolute nothing. Yikes. Oh, and they're 178, Sarah, for her to do nothing? That's a double yikes. That is a double yikes for her to just be running around. Ooh. She's not bad, Jennifer. I like her. Um, let me put her here. So I can know that she's she's top notch. Uh, 46. Hmm. Patient care, 99. Yes, Jessica Johnson. She's my girl. She doesn't have to do anything. So literally we have two runners. Well, actually, no, we don't have two runners on shift. But we should look for more runners on shift. Um, let's see if I can get away with this. Can I do that? That's all medical surgeons. Okay. Um, sorry, nurse surgeons, but you know what I mean. Oh, this is not bad. They're, uh, but they're like, oof, 217. You're a registered nurse and you're quite low. Quite shoddy. But you work really well and you probably will be able to... No. no I'm going to recycle I know I that the top one was there but she ate too much and I don't care about eating I love eating but when it comes to the computer game and efficiency at the moment uh, we're gonna go with Susan Adams but I'm gonna move Susan Adams over here um, what was her name? Susan Adams? Yeah. I'm going to move her over here for now. And we're going to do that. She's not bad, Brooke Harris. She's, she's the mediocre. Actually, no. Susan Harris is pretty dope. Yeah, she's pretty dope. So we're going to move her over. Is she Susan Adams or Harris? What? Oh, it's Book Harris. All right, let's move her over. She's part of Team Elite. Um, but she's thirty. She's forty six. She's not bad. She's actually not too sad to be f to be fair. But we definitely got to put her on one side. So I can ha I can I can tell uh if I'm stacked on both sides. Um, you you know what? You're not too sad. You got bad depressed, but she's pleasant, and she's a Spartan, which is quite nice. Yeah, okay. Okay. We still need a runner though. Um, They're all rubbish. Which is fine, but at the same time, I'm just going to choose you and make you just not do that. Something that I don't know. She's night. I just realised she's night. Um. she's a receptionist didn't we not hire a receptionist and I said let me not hire him or them because la di la okay. uh, we can change the specialization though um, and to, we're gonna change it to clinical nurse and let's take out the patient care for now and let's do that that's really expensive nurse I'm not gonna lie so I'm not happy about that one. Um, and let's see if I can get a new receptionist. Ah, look. Oh, we don't know that person. Oof. Ah, 
depressed, but they're fast learners. So we're going to do that. There we go. She in the right way? There was one person. Wait, hold on. There was one person. Wasn't they like a night owl? Yeah. So let's move them around um, and put Patricia Hernandez. Patricia Hernandez. Put her at night. And then who we're going to do? Actually, we don't know who's a good doctor. That is problematic. But I know we had some decent ones, right? No, no. Oh, Barbara Lee's a good doctor. And so is Jennifer Rodriguez. So we got two of the good doctors on both shifts. I like that. That's very good. I really wish we had a little bit more like supervisors and stuff like that. Like we were into the the structure of um hierarchy. Of the of the doctors on each shift, night shift and day shift, not just chief doctor. Um, because I think it's really important. Robert King. So he's got sixty four. All right, Robert King. And Lane Lewis. She's the highest. Yeah. She's the highest. Alright. So Lane Lewis. Or is it Jane Lewis? Jane Lewis. She's the highest. Highest on that one. Yeah, I, I think if you're on a different um, shift, I think you can't be a supervisor if you're at home. Right. <laughs> so I, I do think that they kind of need to do that one a little bit better. But it is what it is. It's still, it's still a good game. Listen, it's still a very good game. I'm going to turn that on as well. And we did that relatively quickly. <laughs> and now we can play the game. And we're going to have... Yeah, we didn't even have any people in one shift. Uh, so it's going to be a new day soon. And it looks like it's really quiet. Do we have people in the clinic at that time? Oh my god, I beg we. Do we actually have people in the clinic? Are you kidding me right now? What happened to the doctors? What? What? Oh, thank God, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I had a big... <laughs> my heart stopped. <laughs> my heart stopped. The way my heart stopped. I forgot it was all the way around. I was like, oh, my goody, goody gumdrops. Absolutely not. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was like, why is this turned off? Little did we know. They're all here. So we have them on shift. And uh, it's really about just getting a reputation up. Really. And right now, though, it's four and a half stars. So it's pretty decent. Okay, so we're going to have new public health policy causes 30% higher insurance payments, which I'm happy about. Um, so we're going to get all the monies, which is great because uh, the people that are not insured. Um, that rises at up to 90% payout, which, you know, that's brilliant for me. Not so for them, I guess. Auto save. Oh, we got one person on their way. Where are they going? Okay. Right. So they could possibly have lupus here. Um... We need to do physical examination. They're still in the interview. And I'm going to do a chest because of lupus is just there. And it's one of 23 pages. So 23 times 6. Um, we're going to do a thorax. And it could be anything. So we're going to do nasal. But because it's on easy mode, it's given me what it possibly can be. So I might be okay on that one. Um... 
let's give you all of this and I think we need to it could be two it could be I think we should just do an x-ray regardless um, yeah I think majority yeah it says it could be a arm contusion but limited arm motion that's not a contusion to me that seems like you sprained it or you fractured it um so that's interesting oh we've got somebody for imd and it looks like they might have um mastoiditis or otorrhea which is basically oh i forgot about it actually let's give that they've got something oh they could have a cold now with colds, all you need to do is do serological sampling. But we're gonna do take a. He's already had a fever. Oh, dry cough. So it's common cold, or um. This is not it though, because we don't have infectious diseases. So it's co common cold. Um, you might be like, oh, that's cheating. Well, listen, until I have infectious diseases, I'm gonna play the game. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game, but um you know and that's what you do <laughs> if you want to do um doctor mode anyway you know exactly what you don't have if you want to be completely immersive then fine or whatever uh if you're finishing your okay uh yeah so she's got inflammation Oh, beneath the ear. Ooh, that sounds really bad. And she has inflammation of the ear. Oh, okay. So we definitely need to do an ear examination and do ornamentary test. And we give her some uh, steroids because you got there's inflammation, swollen. So that's inflammation. Um. Hmm. What is that? She's annoying. Oof. Oh, we need to get her out of here. Um. We've got nothing but X-ray. Literally, we can't do anything other than X-ray. Um, and common cold. He needs to just. Well, we've already done that. Oh, let him just do the examinations, whatever. <laughs> but he just needs to go. He needs to... Once he's finished the examinations, I can get him out of here. They're going to keep on giving him samplings and things like that to try and figure out what his other hidden symptoms are. And I'm not going to do that. It's just wasting time at this point. Um, Yep, there we go. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Sneezing. Yeah. We don't need anything else. So, why it says liver T R T Y? Okay, we found it's otorrhea, so it's inflammation of the ear. <laughs> Let's give them antibiotics and they should be good to go. Um, but we can give them a temperature to unlock everything. But So let's do that. So we can get... <clears throat> I don't know if we get extra money for it, actually. But it does help our um, death satisfaction and how quick we prescribe uh, medicines. And going forward, if you really want to make good money, well, actually, it's not good money, but if you want to make these like a little bit of change, put in a pharmacy, um, and then so after everything that you prescribe to them, after they go, they go and pick up the steroids and the antibiotics even though they've been giving it to them they pick up more and some of the money sometimes can range from anywhere between 20 bucks to maybe 120 bucks i've seen sometimes and you might think oh that's only little but let me tell you something 120 bucks per when you're doing 15 50 I was doing a hunt I was doing the max I've done in one day in terms of organizing I was doing about 80 patients a day 
um and this is me controlling so i could do more if i wasn't controlling right so actually remind me this actually reminded me i'm actually going to do this um i'm going to put administration and we're going to put a pharmacy here pharmacy and we're gonna let them come in uh, this needs to go I don't know where that came from um, and this is gonna be quite cute and once this uh, gets bigger we can do another pharmacy on the other side um, because the queues are quite long um, we're gonna do drugs with shelves, make it look nice. And then we're gonna have the it doesn't really matter um what what these look like because they have no bearing whatsoever. You can have counter drop off and then you can have counter advice. Oh, we've got to be careful, okay. We can have, we could have that. But it just means that is lower. The queues are harder. Mm, Alright, we'll do it like that. and we will put that them in the middle um and we'll just have that they can have four people and they can have stools okay and we don't need to have this but it's nice to have um no, we're not going to do that but we are going to have a pharmacy cross why not let me do that it needs to be placed on the wall not okay Um, and we can do pharmacy course on here. That's weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then glass of advice. Well, it's supposed to be on the other side, but hey ho. Okay, and that's literally it. Oh, we've got to make the floors nice. Uh, let's do this tile. White tile, yep. And I think all we have to do is hire somebody now. Oh, it's the pharmacy. Uh, they have to have a little bit of something, but it's alright. Um, and we don't actually. They only come during the um during the day. Uh, more time. Uh, when everybody comes out, that's like your fastest. Uh, that's your most busiest time. So don't have people that come in late. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have that person. Um, you need someone to be on time. I will say that. And we'll put you on nights. Um, we only need one person for night, to be honest, because it is completely dead, unless you have like a wave of people. 
and then everybody can be on during the day. And then it's it's not busy. <laughs> That's the thing. After after like two hours into it, it's not busy at all. Oh, it's really annoying. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. Alright, Babs. What's going on? You've got an arm contusion. Yeah, okay. There we go. So yeah, this is literally it. <laughs> and we can send them home. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Interesting. I feel like I want to play this for longer, but it's actually coming up to the 30 minute or 35 minute mark, and I've got to finish in 10 minutes. See, look, we're making $30 there, $130 there. Listen, I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. It all adds up. It all adds up. Although, you don't make. When it comes to the insurance. Wow, so you actually get money from the insurance? This is a bit different because I normally have been playing the the thingy me Bobby. Okay. I've been playing the um the campaigns. So they typically don't charge the wage that I've always had wages and they've never really told me how much money I've made. So that's interesting. Okay. But yeah, you get money for it. And that's why it's really difficult to sometimes hand over to doctors because the doctors will only give will only give the product what is going on will only give the um the drugs that will cure the person not for the symptoms and which is fine and it makes sense um you're lactose intolerant perfect <laughs> but let's see if we can get more excessive fatulence so we can get more drugs that we can possibly uh, without doing the max you know we, what we don't want to do is uh spend too much time unnecessarily okay so they've got dizziness um loss of appetite and a headache um definitely need to have a physical examination and I, I really want to take a blood draw um but I'm gonna check for I'm gonna check to see if it isn't tapeworm and I probably can do that just by doing all the different things but we will see oh she's got un she's uninsured so it's, she's only got 140 bucks great <laughs> interesting okay she's auto saving she's standing up so they're gonna check her, her her belly super cute I mean I don't know why they have to take the whole thing off but yeah you know <laughs> it is what it is it's still cute Uh, so he's had some procedures finished. Okay, what's going on with him? Right, so I don't need to give anything else. Okay, you can go home. That's fine. Um, he has Otis Externa. Okay, he needs to be on diuretics. Um, he need uh, he doesn't actually need to be in hospital for those. So that's fine. It just means the pressure. He needs to get that out, and he probably can go home. And that's gonna give us a lot of money. I'll be intrigued to see how much that would cost. Why? Where has he gone? I might have to hire somebody else. That's not good. Let's hire somebody else for night shift. Oof. Um. You're always late though, and I don't want that. Let's go then. All right. Okay. Let's see. He has no clue, does he? No clue. None. <laughs> he was like, what do you want? <laughs> How much you got? It gave me 60. And he... So that was 20 per... There we go, see? 
20 per. So she probably would give me 60 here. We still don't know what's wrong with her. Okay. I am going to do the blood draw. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And he's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So he should give me 100. He should give me 100. Let's see. Let's see if I, I'm right. Or is it the type of uh, medicine? Because I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I don't know how they, they charge it all. Or does it matter about his insurance? Oh, that's what their liver TI, TY means. Oh, okay, uninsured, yeah. We're going to wait for a while. He's he's upstairs. Okay. Um, can we keep him on there, please? Oh, because he's gone home. Okay, we've got no critical workload. That's fine. I'm actually okay with that. Why is she going to the toilet all the time? Right. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. And he's going to wait. Because everybody's just gone home. What the heck? <sighs> Alright. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 100. Really? 20 minutes. 20 minute changeover. Is this what we're doing with our life? There's four of you. 20 minute changeover. What were you doing for 20 minutes? This is atrocious. Life. Threatening. Things could happen in 20 minutes. People die. Why does he go to that one? That's annoying. Have they not gone home yet? 110. No idea, but hey, I've got money. <laughs> I got cash. And we still need to find out what her blood test is. Um, Let's do a neck palpation while we wait for her. And she, yep, she's obviously got a new person, new day. She most likely has anemia. Most likely. But we do have to wait for the blood test. It does take time. What's he waiting for? Oh my goodness. Okay. We have somebody that is throwing up. And he's got abdominal pains and chills. If he's going to general surgery, um, he's probably got pancreatitis, or yeah, it's probably pancreatitis, pancreatitis, or septic septus. No, but that's that's a uh, infectious diseases. All right, so we're gonna be. He has to get an ECG immediately. He has to get an ECG immediately, um, because it could be something to do with his heart. Um, we could take blood pressure um, if he has abdominal pain. Uh, could be having a rupture inside his um, stomach. Um, so that's also very important. Well, I can't do anything until he's gone to the receptionist. He's got an interview. We've got another person coming in now. Yeah, we've got... Okay. All right. He's the... I was about to end it too. In fact, probably am going to end it because it's coming up to the 45 minute mark. And uh, at least you can see what's coming up in the top of top of the the next episode. Well, my name is Celia. <laughs> I'm going to finish it here. You're like, are you kidding me right now? I'm going to finish it here and uh, 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>